620. Every other Tuesday. 700. That's it. I got 1,000 back here. Burns towing in Tacoma. 1260, 1260 going once. 1260 going twice. 1260. Auctions off dozens of vehicles to the highest bidder. Good thing I drank my coffee this morning. Owner Christine Zachary explains the owners of these cars may not have insurance. 220. 220 going once. Or they abandon them because they can't pay the tow and storage fees. Sold, sold, sold. 220 number, ma'am. So Zachary auctions them off to recoup the cost. So if we get back what we put into a vehicle, we're lucky. State law dictates the company has to wait at least 20 days before that can happen. And after five days, the vehicle is considered abandoned. Then we sat on a certified letter to both the RO and the legal owner. And if we don't get a response from anybody, then we have no recourse but to follow up with going off and selling it to auction. But last spring, Burns towed a car to its lot belonging to a sailor deployed on the USS Stennis and sold it. So today, the AG's office filed suit for violating the Service Members Civil Relief Act, a law that gives members of the military an extra layer of protection. You can be deployed or called up on short notice, right? You may have a gym membership. You may have a car, you gotta park it. If something happens while you're gone, you should have certain protections because you're keeping our country safe. In their defense, Burns Towing showed us their file, how Tacoma police requested the tow, and how they repeatedly tried to reach the registered owner and the bank that had the lien on the car. But state law dictates because the owner is a service member, Burns needed a court order before selling the car. I did not know anything about it. Placing the burden on whoever is doing business with a member of the military, whether they know it or not. In Tacoma, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News. Now, Alyssa tells us the Department of Defense has a website where anyone can search to see if someone is an active service member by name, date of birth, or social security number. It's free. Burns Towing said this is the first time that it's happened, and they will consult with an attorney about what to do next.